Hi, I'm Sean, and welcome to my art show. Brushing up with Sean. Let's paint this. All right, so I hate wasting paint, so I'm gonna use all the paint from my plate. On the other one, I've got blue, white, red, black, and yellow. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually mix in some blue and white. I'm gonna, gonna get this nice, beautiful day looking here. There we go. And right across the top here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just add some back and forth side to side streaks with some light blue. Again, this was blue and white. I've got a flat brush that I'm using. Now, typically as we come down from doing the top here, we wanna make it brighter. Now you can do it two ways. You can make the, the top darker, just add a little bit more blue up top, which is fun, it adds that vibrant you know, blue, take a look at that. I just added quite a bit more. And as I come down, my blue starts to fade away. And that is how you create atmosphere. You can add a little bit more white on your brush and bring it down here. And take a look at that. I just made a gradient move on this and it adds a lot of value. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a few clouds in there in the sky. I'm just dabbing, blotting this brush. And I'm just using the wet paint to my advantage as I blot and dab. And just kind of let it blend or soak into some of that first original background paint. Now the further I bring it up, you're gonna start seeing some contrast too. So take a look, you can see some clouds just start to veer into that. It's pretty cool just to see the effect happen especially when you're first getting painting. And then look at that, I'm gonna add some deeper highlights and separate those highlights so it gives the illusion of depth. Okay, this one's kind of a storm cloud just building right there in the background. This one's just not so much, it's kind of just hanging. Now you can add some like random clouds too, just to break up some of that blue, very lightly just brushing back and forth, kind of in a diagonal motion just to show a difference in cloud formation. So there you've got that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. It's gonna be my horizon line right here. So I'm gonna just add this beautiful coastal water. Now it's important that you do this back and forth, side to side motion, because that helps your illusion of water. It gives it kind of that uh, streaky effect. It gives it that look that there is some kind of waves possibly happening. And you just do this until you kind of just run out of paint. All right. Ooh, that is some cool paradise right there. All right, really pretty steps. We finished that very quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a different brush now. Same kind of flat brush, but I'm gonna do some mixing. Now I wanna make a light brown. The way I do that is actually take some yellow and red, just a little bit of red. I'm gonna do it on the side over here. I'm just gonna mix it over here. So I've got a light orange, and then I'm gonna toss in some black. And that is gonna be making some brown, once I get that. Now if I wanna make it real sandy beach, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up some white and mix in whatever leftover brown I have on my brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use that and see where it's at. Oh yeah. It's got a little bit more yellow than I want in it. You can always fix that by adding more red and creating a different kind of brown. See? And there you go. This is a small canvas that I'm using, one of those flat panels. So it just does the job nice and easy. All right, so you've got your sand, you've got your beach right there. Now we wanna make it look a little bit more realistic. So what you can do is take your other brush that has that light blue on it and you can start maybe making some little ripples come up here on the beach. 
Okay, you want to just add it into the sand right there. It gives the illusion that maybe there's some water starting to come up on this beach. It's got the sand underneath it, so it's a little see-through, so that's good. We want that effect. All right, and look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Now here we go. We're going to add some more texture to this. I added a little bit of blue on that light blue brush. And I want to just go ahead and add a little bit of these ripple waves into this beautiful, beautiful water here. I'm just going to add some of those little, you know, it just looks like it's kind of coming right here, a little bit of action right there. Okay. Now the way you add even more action is you take a small brush and put some plain white on there. And now you can go on top of these right there on top of your dark areas, just a little line going across. You can break up the line too. I'd recommend that just to give you the illusion that maybe there's some breaking water going on here. Little streaks, little highlights, and it just makes this painting that much more interesting when you add, start adding things like depth and all these values coming in here. All right, nice. Okay, look at that. We've got some cool water starting to happen. And again, you can add even a few more highlights down here. Let me get some a little bit more white on my brush. And I'm just using a little tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Now that gives that illusion right there. If you do want to add more texture to your clouds, you can do that now because it did dry off a lot as we were painting our water and take a look. You can see I'm just using the small brush just to touch it up and add some cool cloud tops right there. I added the tops a little bit brighter just to add some cool texture. Now this Thunderhead over here is looking really sweet. We want to actually keep going with that one because that one definitely stands out in this view of this awesome, awesome kind of weather just going deeper back beyond there. But that's your basics 101 of creating a beach scene with the color and everything. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and sign this thing right off. This is an original, one of one, and we'll be giving this away on TikTok as well. I'm using my, my cool little marker pen, but the paint's still wet, so it's hard to get the exact one of one. Boom. Signed it up. There you go, enjoy.